Destiny Worship Center presents its first annual prayer summit, teaching on the principles and foundations of prayer. Week 2, Preparing for Prayer, presented by Pastor Marlo and Sister Danielle Cribs. When you pray as a last resort, it's hard to pray. Uh, you struggle to pray when prayer is not a priority. You struggle to pray when you're not sure or confident in the promises of God about prayer. Uh, you struggle with prayer when you learn to live without it. And I'll explain that in a minute. And lastly, you struggle with prayer because you're not prepared. We prepare for prayer. Please don't sit in your kitchen and wait on God to tell you what to do. My wife just said, do what works for you. God not going to tell you, oh, get thyself up and bend that knee. He's not going to do that. <laughs> you know you got arthritis. Why would you do that? <laughs> I ain't talking about that. Is this place comfortable for you for however you pray? Do you have enough space? I'm a fellow. I don't walk back and forth. I don't walk in circles because I'm not confused. My devotion time is where you center for God first. Also, fasting is a part of that. Okay? Now, uh, I, I want to make sure I said that because if you're not fasting, before you pray, you need to take care of all your natural stuff. Go get you a lunchable or something. So when you start praying, your stomach don't start running. Now, I didn't say go get a plate. <laughs> Because you know you that stuff will repeat on you and you'll start getting sleepy. God, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, Jesus. You ain't even talking about nothing. You sleep. <laughs> what your prayer needs to be considerate of somebody else. Yes. You you travailing. You going in there in the holy soul, knocking over lamps and Oh, God, pulling down strongholds, but the lady downstairs got a two-week-old baby. Right. You the one decided to pray at four, but that's the time the baby finally goes to sleep. And if you have ever had a newborn baby, you know that when that baby <laughs> finally gets to sleep, <laughs> your prayer needs to be considerate of others. Your daughter failing in school. Why? Because every time she come home do homework, you in there hollering, God, in the name of Jesus! Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho, shut up! Let that baby do her homework. I can't think of It's our fun. But the saints neglect the neck of the night. It's just the liver. I'm just a clown. Don't worry about that. Don't neglect other people's consideration. So you can get to the throne. That's right. That's why I say take care of your responsibility. That, that your family sit up in the hungry and you just banding demons left and right. <laughs> you better get some macaroni and cheese on that stove and leave my note and say, this is what I'm going to do until I get out of breath. <laughs> your prayer needs to be considerate of other people. Maybe you, you, you know, you walk a little bit. The people downstairs don't want to hear you walking. Put a rug down. So close. close your window. Because you get mad when people have a radio in the window. But they get mad when you hollering Jesus out the window. It's Jesus. It's your hope. You know. We are learning enough to know when it's time for you to go forth and time for you to shut your mouth. We are learning to know when God is shifting you from what you want to pray for and he shifts you in the brain to something that you want to pray for. When should you shift from giving God glory into spiritual warfare? You got to be alert enough. And if you, I, I'm going to pray at 7 in the morning. And you walk around like this because you ain't had your coffee. Maybe you need to pray at 10. And the Lord hear it. It doesn't say how well you speak. If you're a licensed preacher, if you're the greatest praise and worship leader, it says the righteous cry. Now, the only word that it does mention is being righteous. But the righteous cry, the Lord hear it, and he delivered them out of all their troubles. First John 5 and 14 said, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything in his will, he'll hear us. 